Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about being an introvert. It is part of my truth series. I did actually a poll on my Instagram and I had you guys vote about what you wanted my next video to be about. I've done hair videos, fitness videos, and I have this truth series and it was voted unanimously to do something more on my truth series. So I'm doing this video about being an introvert because I identify as an introvert. It's definitely coming from my perspective, but I feel like a lot of us identify as an introvert. And I do feel that a, a lot of, there's a lot of misunderstanding or the definition of introvert sometimes isn't correct and people don't understand truly what an introvert is. And for me, being someone who identifies as one, um, I've really learned the truths about what that actually does mean and you know, embraced that side of myself but for a long time kind of battled against it. So the first thing I wanna go over is kind of what I do think a lot of people think an introvert is. I know that growing up in my childhood and teenage years and young adulthood, um, I was always mistaken as either being very shy, being um, you know, withdrawn, antisocial, um, snobby was a big one, especially when I was a teenager trying to interact with other kids at school um, and a know-it-all. And these were just things that were kind of thrown at me that I started to let kind of sink in and absorb and actually started to think those things about myself. And a lot of those things are kind of negative. And so it's not actually what being an introvert is or what an intro being an introvert means. And I want to let you guys know that. If you're someone who currently has been told you're an introvert or feels like you're an introvert, let's talk about it. So the real definition that I agree with about being an introvert is that it is somebody who doesn't do well with large groups with a very stimulating environment. We do better in quiet, kind of serene atmospheres and we get energized by being alone more often than we do by being with others. And so therefore like an extrovert is somebody who just is like maybe a social butterfly, someone who loves to have tons of people around, enjoys big parties and crowds and that sort of thing. And they get stimulated and energized by that. So not one is better than the other. I don't know about you, but I definitely need a lot of alone time. I look forward to the times that I know that I'm gonna have my apartment to myself, that everybody else is busy so that I can just stay home and be on my own. Comment below if these are things that you can relate to as an introvert as well, but I have, by living with others, it's kind of been pointed out to me, some of these like behaviors, but I definitely enjoy being in the dark a lot. I don't like having a lot of lights on. Whenever I come home from work, I just change into some comfy clothes, usually keep the lights off. No matter what season it is, I'll have maybe a lamp on. Just for me, it just feels calmer when there's all these lights on in the house. It feels like, I'm like I guess it's like an overstimulation thing. Um, same with having music on or the radio. I can't have background noise all the time. When I was living on my own, I would maybe have the TV on just to like make me feel not so alone. But overall, like I can't have, like if I go into a store and I'm trying to go shopping, which can, don't even get me started on shopping as an introvert. But if I walk into a store and there's loud music playing and people are coming up to me asking me if I need help and I see there's a big lineup at the cashier and there's a lineup for the change room, I am out of there. It is way too much. I can't handle it. And it's not like, I don't want us to feel like this is a weakness. It's just a reality and it's just who we are as people. One of the things that I've struggled with as being an introvert is meeting new people. Strangers seem to be a very challenging part of life, whether it is meeting someone, just ordering food at a restaurant, if it's you know going to the gym for the first time, having to work in pairs for anything in life. Oh my gosh, all through school, it was my literal nightmare. I actually switched courses in university when the first day of the class, the professor would be saying that we're gonna be doing a lot of group work this semester or for this year. So um, you look, I hope everybody looks forward to working in partners and groups and that's what we're gonna base this. I, would, I literally would be thinking in my head, how quickly can I switch this class and what credit can I get instead? And I'm literally not lying to you, done that multiple times throughout my university experience. I actually switched courses just because I didn't wanna work in groups. And it's not because I don't like people and it's not because I'm shy because actually whenever the ice is broken in some way when I meet someone, I completely open up. 
there's this misconception that introverts are these people that are closed off and that we don't and we're withdrawn and antisocial and we don't want to talk or open up to people and that's not true i love having really deep connections with people i like to have them right as like as soon as possible and i have a sense that somebody is not going to be authentic and genuine with me i cannot spend too much time with them i have a difficulty maintaining friendships for this reason because i do feel that um if the people in my life are not 100 percent genuine and authentic and honest with me about what's going on in their lives it's hard for me to connect with them i can't just you know be surface with people at all so um that means I do have a smaller circle of friends and I think that's really true for a lot of introverts. We tend to have a smaller group of friends because we really cherish and work on having those really deep, close connections with people that you can be really honest with all the time and be completely 100% yourself. I, I have so many stories of how I've embarrassed, not embarrassed because whatever, this is just who I am, but there's definitely times that I've done things that I'm like, oh my gosh, with small talk and just, you know, if I honestly, if I see someone I recognize in a grocery store, I will turn the other way and walk away <laughs> rather than have to talk to them if I don't know them very well, because I don't like having to be like, oh, what are you up to? How's the weather? All these niceties that I mean, it's there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's polite. I think it's um, community. It's, you know, it's not a bad thing, but it's just something that I makes me anxious, makes me uncomfortable. So I will literally turn the other way. One day I was out with some friends and we were at a pub and I had had a drink or two and I actually ran into someone on my way to the bathroom that I work with in my regular job. It's a woman that I know that I work with. We work in the same department. We work in the same office together and she bumps into me and she says, oh, hey, how's it going? And I panic because it's not someone I know very well it's just a colleague that I know at work and the first thing that I blurt out of my mouth is I go oh hey I didn't know you worked here and she looked at me like I don't work here I'm just here with my friends like you and I was like oh yeah yeah I'm with my friends too and then I like ran away and then I went to my table and I died and I thought about it and analyzed it and was just like, oh my God, this is why I don't go out. This is why I don't talk to people because <sighs> it's just the way that my brain works. I don't know, it's, I can't explain it. And that, you know, this, these are just stories that are very, very recent. I have done stuff like this my entire life and I used to live a life of being embarrassed by it. But now I just laugh at myself that this is just how I am. Um, the other day when I was leaving work, I was so engrossed in my cell phone. And that's the other thing I feel with introverts, we do create our own worlds that we deeply deeply dive into all the time like i do connect with people a lot through my phone i love social media um, i think a lot of introverts would i love youtube because it's my way to connect with a lot of people without having to deal with the awkwardness um that comes with it so it's like for me i feel like i get right deep into it i can express myself you can get to know me and it's just like an immediate connection and I love that. So on my phone, I am texting friends all day long, asking how they're doing, asking how their day is going, connecting with family. And so I was walking out of work the other day and on my phone and I walked right into a plate glass window. So hard that it made such a loud noise and there was tons of people around and I've left this work a million times. I know where the exit is. I knew that wasn't a door, but I just like looked up and walked right into it and old me would have literally just died, walked home and died, but I just laughed it off and told a lot of people about it because I thought it was actually pretty funny. And if I saw someone else do that, I would feel for them, but I would think it'd be pretty funny. And going along with like being overstimulated at parties and being around lots of people and things like that, um, I think ghosting is a huge weapon or asset that introverts use. I ghost, I, don't say, I won't say I ghost a lot, but I will go out to events and I tend to like, leave without saying goodbye a lot of the time and it's not because I'm trying to be rude and like I don't want to say goodbye to people it's because I don't enjoy the kind of tug of war that goes on with people like wanting you to stay and I just kind of really enjoy that like sleek chic kind of like I was there and then I'm not and I text everyone when I get home and say I'm home safe and I'm in bed and I'm eating toast and watching a show on Netflix and I could not be happier alone in my bed um, so ghosting is something that I 
do do i try not to commit that's another thing i think if you're friends with an introvert or if you are one you'll notice that we don't like to commit to plans because we don't know how we're going to feel by the time those plans come up and then we don't want to be someone that cancels last minute so i'm a very non-committal when it comes to just even going for coffee or something like that i get very anxious about those things um, but it's just because i don't know if in that moment i'm going to want to actually be like in the dark at home by myself and it's kind of hard to fight that feeling when it comes because it's just you need that time to recharge and i actually work a job where i'm dealing with people and talking to people and around people and in fluorescent lights and live in a really busy city so i actually find that i do need a lot more alone time more than ever as i've gotten older and this kind of plays into if you are friends with someone who's an introvert and they never pick up the phone when you call i don't even pick up the phone when my mom calls because i just it's another it's a committal thing because then all of a sudden i feel like now i'm going to be on this phone call for however long this other person wants me to be and i might want to be doing something else and it seemed it <laughs> At first I used to really judge myself for that, but it's just how I am. I love texting. I love emails. I will send emails all day long. I hate Skype. I will never FaceTime with you, but I will text you all day long. I will email all day long. I will answer your texts no matter what, but I will not answer your phone calls. So you don't need to phone me. And my all my closest friends know this. They don't even try anymore. And I don't even talk on the phone to like my partner. Like I just do not like phone calls. Comment below if that's you too. I just, I do feel like it's because it's like, boom, now you're like stuck trapped here in this experience. And I think as an introvert, like we're just, I'm a very free person. I'm an Aquarius. I'm like, I just need to be free. I have a lot of bird symbolism tattooed all over me because I just love the idea of just being, you know, limitless and not, and just being able to move freely wherever I need to be and not, you know, weighted down in any way. So even with a phone call, I would prefer just text me. And the last thing I would wanna say about introverts is most likely if you're friends with one, you are an extrovert because we love extroverts. My closest friends are extroverts. Most of my partners have been extroverts. If they're not, then we tend to go into like this kind of spiraling, really like loner type living situation, which isn't great. I love extroverts because they energize me. I, all my favorite colleagues at work are extroverts, people that are boisterous and, and loud and energetic and like have lots to say and super friendly and outgoing. Like I love that energy because I don't have it. So I love to absorb it. It makes me feel so much more comfortable because they behave as though they don't care about my, you know, kind of more um, quiet, reserved, inward kind of energy. And they kind of, and they, they, and they have enough of that extroverted energy that they can connect to me no matter, you know, where I am or what kind of mood I'm in or how my day went. Um, so I love an extrovert. Um, I think we make a great team. I think introverts can just let extroverts do their thing and vice versa. So if you have, if you're one of these and you're probably friends with one or the other, I mean, there's obviously you're going to be friends with people that are the same, but it's good to have a good combination of both. So anyways, that was just my sharing about me and my experiences as being an introvert and embracing that part of myself. I definitely allow myself to say no to events. I don't go out all the time. I really let my friends know how much I care about them and cherish the time that I do spend with them. Um, and I do just try and express myself a bit better now rather than just like not answering calls. I'll at least explain maybe where I'm at and why and send a text or something like that. I think that's important because I don't feel like as introverts, we're closed off, withdrawn, antisocial human beings. We love connection. We need connection. We're all human beings. That's what like, that's what life is about. We just connect in different ways. So let me know if you feel the same and let me know maybe what you want to discuss next in the comments below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell that way when i put out a new video you will see it because otherwise youtube just swallows me whole and you'll never see me again thank you so much for tuning in love you guys introvert power extrovert support hand in hand we're unstoppable